As the prophet of esports, I rely on trustworthy and meaningful data every day. Data from our research partner, YouGov, offers the most complete view of esports fans and gamers in the world, providing context to who they are, what they think, the brands they buy, and things they do. YouGov's connected insights and research services inform strategy at every level. If you're a team, a brand, agency, or rights holder, you should be talking with YouGov. Their partners measure and maximize ROI and are telling compelling stories with data. Visit yougov.com slash gaming dash esports to learn more. But let's start with the big story here. Okay, it's Facebook. Facebook in the news this week. Um, Facebook is planning to rebrand the company with a new name. Okay, Mark Zuckerberg wants to be known for building the metaverse. I will say there's a, 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 an attached story to this, which is Facebook will hire 10,000 people in Europe to help build its metaverse. So we don't know what the new name is, just to be clear. It's not in the article. Um, but Facebook is massively doubling down on this metaverse strategy, massively. Anyone think this is going to go horribly awry for Facebook? Or, or is Mark Zuckerberg just a visionary once again like and, and getting ahead of this way before anyone else is even really starting to think about it in a serious way. I don't think you hire 10,000 people on a whim. <laughs> so I would love to know the strategy before they decided to approve that budget for all those hires. Um, you know, we're massive believers in the metaverse here. I don't know if you necessarily need a rebrand for that. Um, I kind of, I kind of like the name Facebook. We were actually talking about it separately today when it was the Facebook. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you need the rebrand. I guess if you're going to completely change the fundamental, uh, you know, under underworkings of the company, maybe that that's it's due. But um, I don't think they're going to miss. You know, I think they're I think they're too big to fail. I think. Well, actually, that's not true because we see Google miss a lot. <laughs> but Look, can, can I just stop you guys here? I think yeah. this is this is brilliant. It's brilliant, right? Like you need a company. This, with the scale and influence of a Facebook to build the metaverse, right? And look, Jimmy knows this. Most people watching don't know this. The umbrella company of the business of esports and everything else Jimmy, Lindsay, and I are doing in gaming is Holodeck Ventures, okay? And Holodeck is, is fundamentally what we used to call the metaverse, right? It's metaverse for people who are old like me. It's from Star Trek. It's, you know, basically what, what we call the metaverse today. So it's nice to see... Zuckerberg is starting to catch up to my thinking because this is, again, core part of the thesis. But putting his money where his mouth is, 10,000, Jimmy, to your point, this is the kind of scale the world is going to need to build the metaverse, right? Like, this is not going to happen from a startup, right? You need something with the scale of a Facebook, with the influence of a Facebook, with the power of a Facebook to build something that huge, that comprehensive, that like something that touches so many technologies, so many people. Plus, they already have the network, right? They have the people. Now it's just building technology around that. To me, well, they, this is genius. Yeah. Well, genius. they also have they also have VR and Oculus, right? And uh, and so you have the network, you have the underworkings of kind of that immersive experience. They're they probably missing two or three parts that this ten thousand is designed to to supplement or to fulfill. So. Uh, again, you know, it's it's not a small it's not a small like hey we're going to explore this area right. This is, I wonder. I mean, did that story say how many employees Facebook already employs? I will say this. I think I think it's I around fifty thousand. I'm not sure actually. Um, I will say this. I always thought Bezos might be the first trillionaire, right? Just because of Amazon's reach and influence and just how big, much bigger they could get. Mm -hmm. Truly, I think Zuckerberg becomes the first trillionaire on the back of this. Question for you guys, though: what is, What is the rebrand? What is he, What does Facebook end up getting called, Lindsay? I <laughs> any, have no for idea. People in well, chat, any cracks at this? Uh, I, any? Yeah, <laughs> I know. I want to know the joke names too. Um, I don't know. I, I immediately thought Metabook? of no. Metabook's well, yeah. good. 
as we should go we should go copyright that, that. Go, just, just, just go trademark, go trademark, trademark every name possible <laughs> well honestly you could do a deep dive on the uspto and on all these different you know um names with meta in them we could probably find one that's owned by a facebook uh holding company oh, oh we see greg in the chat says the new name is horizon uh, is it greg was it announced because i didn't see it in this article that i had uh so maybe that's news because this is re relative this is i like all these today. comments Ooh. if you want to read them honestly they're pretty good face first <laughs> face verse <laughs> <laughs> face just face zuckerland <laughs> zuckerland is actually quite good zuckerverse <laughs> actually zuckerverse very clever uh, <laughs> you know, i uh, forgot facebook also has like a garage um what is it that kind of like that selling portal that they use as well and then and there's also a lot of companies right with company profiles for sales on facebook we're, we're talking about all the different verticals that you need to support a, a true metaverse right and, and selling merchandise is a big part of that i think um let me just read i i, I missed some comments here gabe says wow it's Bye. been so long since i've been in here great time because i've been so curious on this facebook metaverse gabe welcome back uh wade says one word facebook phone I don't know, Wade. I think I don't think we see that personally. I I, I do agree. It, it probably makes sense, but I don't think we see that. Um, Matt says, "Paul, did you go blonde for this episode?" Uh, no, it's, Matt. It's just the lighting. You know, it's his aura. Uh, <laughs> he says, "This lighting looks good on you, sir." Thank you, Matt. Um, Owen says, "It'd be way less sexy in fifty years to call the metaverse Facebook." I like this move purely from a consumer standpoint. I mean, there, there is some question mark there, right? Like there's a lot of yeah. brand value in Facebook uh, in just the word. I mean, who doesn't know that word? Literally, probably every single human being on the planet has at least knows the brand. Is it a bit silly to rebrand? I, I don't know. No. I think this gives them a lot more room to test things um, without, I don't know, I when I, when, I saw to be clear, earlier. Lindsay, they may be rebranding the whole company, right? Right. And then and yeah, we I don't know the, the specifics. Like it could be like yeah. face verse by Facebook or Zuckerland by Facebook. We don't we don't know exactly how they're going to brand it. Well, um, also, to, to Owen's point, in fifty years, there's also probably not going to be books. So, what, what is a Facebook? <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we it's still say thing. hang up the phone. When's the last time anyone's hung That's up true. a phone? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Greg says, by the way, not yet. It's a guess. So there, wow. we don't, we still don't know. Um, Jillian says, That's I think funny. it's a hilarious power move to just keep it Facebook. So like no. announce a rebrand and then keep the same name uh, with a different, uh, different font or something. Uh, Owen says that's the name of their Oculus social media app is what horizon or Zuckerland. Um, I don't think it's Probably Zuckerland. not Zuckerland. <laughs> Greg says Facebook rebranded their social VR platform Horizon Worlds. Yeah, 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 that's true. Uh, Patrick says Facebook needs to drop the name 100% as a PR move, if anything. Well, I think the the fact that they didn't drop the name is why is getting it's getting a lot of PR, right? Like everyone's speculating, what is it going to be? I mean, we're talking about it, obviously. Um, I mean, doesn't, doesn't this give them a chance to rebrand in a different way, though? Because everyone always says... You know, only boomers are on Facebook, blah, 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 all that. But then we look at younger generations and they're all on Instagram, which is just Facebook. So <laughs> instead they can be like, no, they're all under the Horizon Company umbrella. I think it reminded me of, I mean, it reminded me of Google and Alphabet, obviously. It's yeah, easy yeah, Patrick there. mentioned that. It, yeah, it gets, it gives them a lot more room to try things, to fail at things, to see what sticks, to build up other power. I mean, they built up three powerful brands already in Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp under whatever this umbrella is. And people don't necessarily associate those with each other. So it'd be nice to bring those under one umbrella that's not called Facebook as well, which is obviously has negative connotations with its user base or its age and stuff. So yeah. I don't know, this this gives them so much room to do stuff, to play, to figure it out, to build things. Zuckerberg copying great. me on all fronts again. Yeah. I mean, it's okay, I'm flattered. <laughs> Imitation is the highest form of flattery. Um, Matt says, social verse or social book get my vote, but it'll probably be some ridiculous single word like Xeron or something meaningless. Not a bad guess. <laughs> right. <laughs> my vote's on Xeron. I don't know what the word means, but um, Greg says agreed, but I think they may take part of the name. That's true. 
Um, Jeff said Google did exactly this. Their core Facebook product is declining, so they want to highlight all the other parts of the biz. It's a distraction tactic because of the PR issues they've got. I don't know about the distraction, but I think you agree with Lindsay on the first part there. Um, funny, when you're in the same live stream <laughs> together, you don't agree, but... Um, <laughs> Owen says Horizon is the name of their Oculus app. Yeah, yeah. And Patrick says exactly boss. There you go. Agrees with Lindsay. Um, uh, look, guys, it's a, it's an interesting one, Facebook. Um, but in some ways, I'm telling you, I think this is... Uh, I If Google, Apple, like if all the big tech companies, Amazon, don't do something in response, I actually think... Facebook may succeed with this in a major way. Like I, I truly believe with 10,000 people behind an effort like this and they have all the core components, this could be this could be what brings about like a true metaverse, a true kind of alternate place where we live and interact and do things. Um, and I, I love that they're trying it. I mean, you got to give them credit. That's that's a huge amount of resources to to push into something. Um, so clearly there's conviction there. Um, actually, let me answer this first, and then we'll go go on to that. Owen says, could you see Apple getting in on the metaverse? What do you guys think? I I think that I mean, there's still a lot of hardware out there to be built. I, I just, Apple is just so strong in hardware. I can see that, and anything that they create, people are going to want to buy in droves. So there's a lot of opportunity there, I think. I mean... I was just listening to when the iPhone launched and how Steve Jobs presented it as three different devices at the time and how revolutionary it was. I don't know that I can necessarily imagine what that hardware will be, but Apple has a creative team and is so good in hardware that I'm sure there's something that I haven't thought of yet or that anyone has thought of yet that they're going to put out and people are going to buy it in droves. And that's going to kind of be their entry point. Um, I know that they want to move into being a software business. I don't know that they'll go as hardcore as Facebook has in trying to build, um, you know, the entire kind of world that we live in. They have a lot of the same assets that Facebook has, right? When you think of iPhone users and everyone that's on iCloud, like in some ways that's the social network. They have all the access to the end user. They have hardware the same way, you know, Facebook has hardware. Um, they have the scale, the dollars, the resources, the people, like to me, this is, they have all of the elements that Facebook does. To me, there's no reason they shouldn't be competing. Well, I, I don't think it's a matter of resources. I think it's a matter of company culture and what kind of like they're- That's they're, a different story. You're right. Right. And I think Apple traditionally has been more about enhancing the way we go about our day-to-day -day lives through inserting their hardware or their software to automate things or to just, you know, make things better. Um, I think culturally, if we as a society really adapt to the metaverse and lean into that, Apple, like you said, has all of the everything that they need to do to to go in there full full force. But until that, I, I think it needs to be a cultural shift, not just in terms of Apple's culture, but in terms of our society, um, because I think that's that's where their that's their entry point. I think into uh, into either entering the metaverse or continuing just to make your real life a little bit better. Yeah. Gabe says, Apple is creating a VR headset that has been in development for quite some time. Uh, and then Owen came back and said, I thought it was mixed reality. Reality, Either way, it is interesting. I don't think anyone knows for sure, right? It's all just rumors. Um, but I think, I think I've heard both rumors, to be very honest. So I, I don't know if anyone knows for sure. I've heard like a Google Glass styled product, so more mixed reality. But more recently, I did see a VR rumor uh, that Apple was going to try and do something there. Um, Patrick says Apple cleaning cloth. Yeah, <laughs> I almost had that as a story for this week, but not not enough business or gaming or esports related. Um, Owen says, could companies like Apple sell their OS to consumers or metaverse companies, and that way they can stay the course as a software company? I mean, Owen, I would, I really don't think Apple is a software company. Let's uh, let's. I think they want to be. Not, no, they want to be a services company, which they are oh, more than anything. Um, I would argue today, services company with some great hardware. Um, but I don't think they would sell their OS. Their OS has always been very much a walled garden, closed ecosystem. Mm -hmm. uh, they, I don't think they have any 
any interest in putting their OS on devices that are that are not Apple devices, um, yeah. unless something mag you know drastically changes at the company. Gabe says there's an update on it that production is delayed until the end of 2022. These hardware is a tough business. It's not easy. Owen says uh, not iOS, but an OS made specifically for metaverse hardware. Oh, and I believe that's possible, but again, it would be Apple hardware. Um, Patrick says Apple has always maintained they're a hardware company. Yeah, they say that, but I mean, if you look at where a lot of the profits are generated, it's from their services business. Um, so uh, Gabe says Apple is far from a software company after their new M1 Pro and M1 Max chipset. Yeah, exactly. They're making their own silicon now. Apple used to license their OS Mac clones. Patrick, that's so long ago. Most of the people in this audience uh, probably would not would never even remember that. Um, that that's definitely not the new Apple or the current Apple. 